All right, so just got a text message from my mom. She is actually down Lansing in front of the Senate. It's under lockdown and not letting the public in no more. I guess they got 30 cop cars out there, three paddy wagons. And this is all because they're trying to make Michigan a right to work state. A lot of you don't know what right to work state is, or maybe you do, but let me break it down kind of simple for you. Right to work is they hire you, but they can fire you at any time for any reason. There's a lot of other things, but the, the biggest thing is is that the, the ability to just fire you just because. Um, say the manager has a nephew who needs a job. They can fire you and he can replace you with his nephew just because. Um, they don't like the color of hair you have. They don't like, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. They can just fire you. If that passes, a lot of companies are going to just easily build a fire. A lot of their employees are making a decent pay. And, of course, replace them with minimum wage people that are desperate for work and will work for next to nothing. And will do, you know, the hardest work they can because now it's a right-to-work state or whatever. So now they're all going to fear being, fear being fired. And it kind of becomes like a third-world country, you know. And we're getting pushed further and further into it. And I don't, I don't understand why we're allowing it. I mean, like when our crappy senator came in and did all the changes he did, I, just, I don't see how the American people stood by. Um, the issue right now, we're trying to pass it to make it a right to work state. We all had an option to vote on it, and a large percentile of us supposedly vote against it. And I can't help but think, like, one, is it real? Or two, are people really that stupid? Um, I know there's a lot, there's like a lot of ads out that were saying like, that were, you know, for having a right to work state, you know, voting against stopping it for being a right to work, or voting against, yeah, voting against stopping it being a work, right to work state. And it was like, oh, if you allow this to go through, drunk teachers will be allowed to teach your kids and all this other bullshit has nothing to do with it you know like basically you, you, teachers can get drunk and won't get fired and shit uh bullshit all right bullshit i hope that that dumb ad it, they, they put it on the tv all the time the stupid ad and every time i looked at it, like are you fucking serious excuse my french but hey i'm vulgar but uh Whatever, something worked because all these broke idiots out here, unemployed, jobless morons, voted for this. So, I don't know, that's where we're at now. I thought I'd get you guys to know what's going on. I'm going to have to go bail my mom out for jail because she's definitely one that loves the protest. That's another thing that the, the, uh, the governor of Michigan is doing, making it so it's against the law to protest. <laughs> like a true dictator I'm telling you <laughs> but so now that it is against law for them to protest and they are protesting that's why all the cops and panel wagons are there because they can, they can arrest people for voicing for expressing themselves in a protest which <laughs> to me I always thought freedom of speech was something that was you know very valuable in our country but apparently in Michigan you get put in jail for that kind of stuff so uh, that's what's going on. Tell me what you think about it. If any of you guys are following what's going on, especially if you live in Michigan and realize the BS that's been going on, the uh, how they're d destroying all the cities in Flint, how they're outsourcing all the jobs to Canada, to corporate entities that don't even, are not even in our state. And this is somehow supposed to solve our debt problem. Just tell me what you guys think. Um, I'll uh, think about doing another video because this stuff really aggravates me, and uh, I'll put that up probably tomorrow because I'm doing actually. I don't know if you see it. Ha, got my holster there and my holster there. Well, I can't see that one, but um, actually this one over here is empty. I'm about to go do a safety thing for the neighborhood association. I'm the you know head of the safety patrol here, and uh, after my meeting, a couple people want to learn a little bit about self defense. I don't teach them how to, uh, you know, stop a semi automatic uh, pistol at close range from possibly firing. You know, to give them, you know, something that's not guaranteed to work. 
but to give a person a chance, a fighting chance against a gun if being robbed or raped or whatever it may be. And also a revolver. And uh, if I have a chance, I'll do a video on both of them because, you know, some of you guys out there may not know that you can do these things with your hands up close range when a, a weapon is drawn on you, a pistol is drawn on you. And it could possibly save your life. But uh, I'll do a video on that too. So take care, guys. Like always, have a great day. Bye.